Hi there, it's English with Peter. What? Hi everyone, my name is Peter and welcome to my YouTube channel English with Peter. Here, using enormous amount of different information based on TV shows, movies, TV series, vlogs, whatever, you name it, we are learning English. As you already understood, today I'm going to use exceptional English and it's going to be my first time and to tell the truth, I'm a little bit nervous. I hope you won't be too judgy and I hope such kind of videos will be really, really, really useful. Please let me know in a comment section down below uh, whether you like such videos or not when I'm using only English without any kind of Russian. And I think in the future we're going to do more of that, I hope at least. And again, please don't be too judgy. I'm not native speaker and English is not my first language and it, it wasn't my major in the university, I'm not a linguist, I'm not a teacher, yeah, and um, of course there's gonna be a lot of, not a lot of, maybe some grammar mistakes, some vocabulary mistakes or pronunciation mistakes, I'm not perfect and I'm learning as well as you do, so yeah, please support me and don't be too judgy, please. Watch this video till the end, because in the end, I have a special announcement for you. Before we'll start, here is the answer to our previous homework. I remind you that it was the video shorty, aka video korotish, with the phrase sick off. I'm posting the link to this video over here and in the comment section down below. I think if we work together and live together, we'd get sick of each other. Yeah, but to be fair, he only said the part about him getting sick of you. For the love of God, why? I think uh, if we work together and live together, we'd get sick of each other. Yeah, but to be fair, he only said the part about him getting sick of you. For the love of God, why? Let's repeat that one more time. I think uh, if we work together and live together, we'd get sick of each other. Yeah, but to be fair, he only said the part about him getting sick of you. For the love of God, why? I think if we work together and live together, we'd get sick of each other. <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, he only said the part about him getting sick of you. For the love of God, why? <laughs> okay, let's start. And the phrase of the day for today is gonna be get on way. <laughs> getting your way all the time. Always have to get our own way. Doesn't get her own way. She just You would still get your own way. Geller, then he gets his way. If he does not get his way. Always getting his way. We so she can get her way and not. She gets her way again. I Actually, you will need this phrase in a little bit another way. Like, get your own way, get his own way, get her own way, get our own way, or get her way, get his way. I think you know what I'm saying. Uh, to tell you the truth, I've met this phrase when I was with my student working on some episode from the Lion King cartoon, and here is the episode. You must never go there, Simba. But I thought a king can do whatever he wants. Oh, there's more to being king than getting your way all the time. Oh, there is more to being king than getting your way all the time. Let's repeat this phrase one more time. Today there won't be any Russian language, I mean any Russian translation, I hope you like it. So let's repeat this phrase one more time and try to translate in Russian together with me. Oh, there is more to being king than getting your way all the time. Oh, there's more to being king than getting your way all the time. So, what does it mean, get your way or get your own way? Basically, it means to get or to have something that you want. To have things done according to your personal preferences or desires. I hope you understand that. So, let's have a look at some examples that I prepared for you today from TV series, movies and different other videos. <laughs> let's get started. First one is from the Mike and Molly's TV series. Stubborn, always have to get our own way, madly in love with my boy. <laughs> Stubborn, always have to get her own way, madly in love with my boy. Let's repeat that one more time. Stubborn, always have to get her own way, madly in love with my boy. Stubborn, always have to get her own way, madly in love with my boy. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. The next example is gonna be from the Two and a Half Man TV series. You know, when, uh, when Judith doesn't get her own way, she just keeps coming at me and... and coming at me like a friggin' steamroller, you know, crushing my... 
You know, when Judith does get her own way, she just keeps coming at me like a friggin' steamroller. Let's repeat that one more time. You know, when Judith does get her own way, she just keeps coming at me like a friggin' steamroller. You know, when, uh, when Judith doesn't get her own way, she just keeps coming at me and, and coming at me like a friggin' steamroller, you know, crushing my... Check out the next example from the Cougar Town TV series. No, you don't. You just want me to argue with you, but still get your own way. No, you don't. You just want me to argue with you, but still get your own way. Let's repeat that one more time. No, you don't. You just want me to argue with you, but still get your own way. No, you don't. You just want me to argue with you, but still get your own way. The next example is going to be from the good old friends. Let's not forget about them too. He knows Noah's going to say all those names. He knows they'll wind up calling her Geller, then he gets his way. He knows no one's going to say all those names, so they will wind up calling her Geller, then he gets his way. Let's repeat one more time. He knows no one's going to say all those names, so they will wind up calling her Geller, then he gets his way. He knows Noah's going to say all those names. He knows they'll wind up calling her Geller, then he gets his way. Remember, recently we already discussed this phrase wind up in one of our shorties, aka video coro tish. I'll post the link to this video over here and in the comment section down below. Let's have a look at some examples from the Big Bang Theory and actually there's gonna be three examples. So here's their first example. After we go through the exercise of an annoying series of votes, all of which the gentleman will lose, does he then intend to threaten to quit if he does not get his way? After we go through the exercise of an annoying series of votes, all of which the gentleman will lose, does he then intend to threaten to quit if he does not get his way? Yeah, I understand, this phrase was a little bit tough and let's repeat that one more time. After we go through the exercise of an annoying series of votes, all of which the gentleman will lose, does he then intend to threaten to quit if he doesn't get his way? After we go through the exercise of an annoying series of votes, all of which the gentleman will lose, does he then intend to threaten to quit if he does not get his way? Example number two. Why are you fighting him on this? Because I am tired of him always getting his way. We Why are you fighting him on this? Because I'm tired of him always getting his way. Let's repeat that one more time. Why are you fighting him on this? Because I'm tired of him always getting his way. Why are you fighting him on this? Because I am tired of him always getting his way. We and finally, example number three from the Big Bang Theory. And did you know she has him add things to the roommate agreement so she can get her way and not fight with you about it? Son of a bitch! <laughs> and did you know she has him add things to the roommate agreement so she can get her way and not fight with you about it? Son of a bitch! All right, let's repeat this phrase one more time. And did you know she has him add things to the roommate agreement so she can get her way and not fight with you about it. Son of a bitch! And did you know she has him add things to the roommate agreement so she can get her way and not fight with you about it? Son of a bitch! <laughs> Alright, and here is the last example for today. It's gonna be from the Morden Family TV series. And the next time we're choosing what to do, she gets her way again. And, and the next time we're choosing what to do, she gets her way again. All right, let's repeat one more time. And the next time we're choosing what to do, she gets her way again. And the next time we're choosing what to do, she gets her way again. And All right, guys, that's it for today. The phrase of the day was get your own way. And getting your way all the time. Always have to get our own way. Doesn't get her own way. She just, you would still get your own way. Get her, then he gets his way. If he does not get his way. Always getting his way. We so she can get her way and not. She gets her way again. And Guys, I understand that today's video may be a little bit different and you're not used to it. I understand that you got used to another type of the video coro tiche that was partly in English, partly in Russian language, but I'm sure or at least I hope that this video was useful for you. You practice your listening comprehension, but you know, I decided why not to do that in English. Let's try it, why not? And important information, guys. In the comment section down below to this video, you can find time codes for each and every video episode uh, from my videos. You can find it in this video, you can find it in each and every video that I create. It means that you can use them however you like it. 
You can repeat them tens of times, hundreds of times. You can write them down in your notebook and then repeat them. You can add to some SRS systems and so on and so forth. Remember that the more you repeat them, the better you remember them. Of course, just if you watch this video only one time, it doesn't make any sense and it will not work. You have to repeat it again and again. My videos is just the material that you can work with and I think some practice. And let's not forget about our homework slash listening comprehension exercise. Please write down in the comment what you were able to hear and the next time we will check it out. Stay tuned guys, see you later. Actually, Dad, what happened was Cam was practicing this trick where he pretends to be accommodating and then magically gets his way. Actually, Dad, what happened was Cam was practicing this trick where he pretends to be accommodating and then magically gets his way. Actually, Dad, what happened was Cam was practicing this trick where he pretends to be accommodating and then magically gets his way. Actually, Dad, what happened was Cam was practicing this trick where he pretends to be accommodating and then magically gets his way.